and boom. <sighs> Guys, this is my home. I want to give you an updated farmhouse tour of my family home. Bye guys. Bye guys. Subscribe to my auntie's video. Auntie auntie videos. <laughs> Let's walk me find a video and I could bake cake. Okay, I'll go. Sini Katanga is at a new lamp. Hmm. Mungu. What are you on Busha? Oh, you want to ask him to Mata? Call me my jar, come up on Kuka. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come Bye. 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 Ni shosha ba ni baba. Mama na pona kuitu aji. Bye. I'm Kimto Bear, and my my channel is all about authentic African is lifestyle. I do this a series called African Village Life, and. I do this series around Christmas time, so if you want to do, to watch that, there's a playlist you can click here. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I will be so much happy. I'll be so happy if you do that and support my channel. I'm in the road to 50,000 subscribers, guys. Please, please give this video a thumbs up. Share, share, share to your friends and to your family and to everyone. This is my home. So yeah, I think I look at least more presentable. Yeah, I'm looking. This is my good side. So yeah, guys, I'm going to give you an updated farm tour. You guys love the last one. So in my house, I think that video I did like three or four years ago, there's some update, some transformation, some things we've done in the help. Like the home is updated right now. And this is my home. You can see before it was blue. Now they've painted another color. Uh huh. Still, like the economy, economy are rooting at Pelekambio, but Tunangangana to Badu. So, this we still need to do some paneling, like different color, like maybe to match this or to match the other one. Okay. So, when you go like this, you've seen. The color outside paintwork has been done from outside. They've did some ventilation. You can see this ventilation there, paneling, and then they changed the rooftop. They changed the roof 
all of the rooftop or oh, the sun is heating they change the rooftop and then my mom loves gardening you can see that the house has a, has a gate wow we also have electricity thank you former kibaki president <laughs> but it comes and goes whenever it wants I'm putting chlorine on the collected rain water. See? It's good, it comes out of the dams. So it says I put it's a water treatment. I put two to five milligrams. So we put this on all our rain collected water. Don't know how chlorine works. This is why my mom loves living off grid. One of the reasons is she has no water bill utility to pay because we we live in a rainy like our country said is always raining. So we collect fetch water on these uh, two main tanks uh, that we have a three thousand liter tank and a thousand liter tank. We use this rain water mainly for cooking, doing house chores and showering and anything that kubo na ogopa kubo kuna kitu na ogopa tulisema na ogopa huo ogopa usiku kisu na watu usiku sino wanatendanga na panga needs all of the above drinking water we fetch from the river we have a flowing river that's only 15 minutes away which is free there's also the financial freedom of having like uh, you have your own energy consumption we don't, don't depend on gas we don't depend on electricity we always have a backup we all have firewood to make our own food like cook with firewood we also have solar panels these solar panels help in the case the electricity is out of. There's a shortage of electricity, which happens a lot in the countryside, and we use the solar to supply us with the energy that we need. So that's another less cost, no costs, basically, no bills for that. The electric bill is. Uh, it's basically none even even if it's there it's like not more than ten dollars because we rarely use electricity here another thing is uh sometimes don't even know when the electricity is out because we are we are independent we are self-reliant and we also grow what we eat we grow what we eat. We are subsistence farming. Is it called that? Yeah. We only eat the crops that we grow from our farms. So the meat, maize, everything. We, we, we eat what we grow from our farm. The health, health ha accept of living this way is very, very encouraging. Because you see, you, we, we eat what, I've told you, we eat what we grow. And the staples, like the staples of this, like, family we grow it like maize we always cook maize flour our own vegetables we grow our own vegetables we f we right now the chicken are almost non-existent because there was a huge party at home but we feed we rear our own chicken we eat our own chicken we have a supply of of the foods we have to eat for a whole year and then we harvest we grow we plant all those good stuff we butcher we raise our own chickens and butcher them you've seen it on my videos click on the link down uh, on the i card below above to see like us cooking and this comes you know what exactly was done to the chicken i know exactly what the chicken ate know where it comes from that's a big deal to me and my family 
the health aspect of it is what le is leading people to live off grid. It's a healthy way to live. Producing most of your own stock, producing your own food. Actually, this is like my mom's number one reason why when she retired, my mom and dad, when they retired, they were working full time in the city, in the big city. But when they retired, they, they came back home. And I feel like this is what has sustained them uh, for a long time. Like their health is wealth. Like my mom has never been sick. My mom has never been been laid in hospital for more than five days. They, uh, it's, it's now that she's older that she has like old age sickness. But uh, basically, like my mom is a healthy individual. Like she has never been sick apart from the flu and the cold and then this recent thing that happened to her and her scare. So I read this book. It's how many pages? It's Lost in Time. I've never read this. From Melissa de la Cruz. I read it one day. We had like, power had gone. So I read it then one day. And it's, mind you, it's, this is the it's 342 pages. It's not that it was interesting. It was kind of vampires and vampires and sirens and hell and all that. Uh, so that I enjoyed it. I saw, I read the, this thing here. It, said it was in Egypt. I don't think it described Egypt really well. Um, I read it because I didn't have anything else to read. I will read it. Recommend me books to read, novels. I'm not into vampires. I don't despise it, but I like romance. I like adventures. I like like the summer. Once upon a summer time by Daniel Steele. I like romantic novels. As you can see, we have new ceilings. Thank you. New paint. So, another upgrade is, you know, this is the main door. It was, used to be a whole hall. It used to be a whole hall. They divided into two. So, they keep some things here. <laughs> Don't mind about that. It's a farmhouse. So this door, go through this door, we have a bathroom shower. They also got a tank for the, for, to collect rainwater because you can see that's the main problem that we have. Then we have a sitting toilet, we have a sitting toilet inside the home because we used to have a pit latrine, now it's a sitting toilet. You can you can see you are very happy about that. Now when you go to the toilet, we sit. I no one squatting. So that's the main upgrade that we can do a business. <laughs> Inside toilet. So excited. And very important is bleach. We are so excited. There's even running like you can flush the toilet. For Drew collected. See? Drew collected. I'm excited because you can even flush it. See? See? And this water it can form rain water rain rain water we collect it and be in a tank we have a thousand liter tank and three thousand liter tank we are so grateful and made of tap what we actually do is we treat the Rainwater collected with chlorine, chlorine 65, this one. Then we treat it to the tanks, 
and we always store in my countryside there's a lot of rain so that's that's a good thing but now um the shower we have a shower we have a shower here cannot like it doesn't have pressure so it doesn't have like pressure to let me see yeah it doesn't have pressure so what the plumbing guy told us the one who was installing it we need to have a water pump yes i'll send to look for that one a water pump so that you can pump because we want our mom to have a heated shower because right now currently we just boil water and shower with the bucket but we want it to be like really really easy like for mom and well, yeah i'm so thankful for these upgrades because this house was built many many years ago over 30 years ago this house was built and they were building it when they had like kids raising kids taking them to school university we are a family of nine one sister died yeah so that's it and then we have electricity electricity came like 10 years ago with the help of the former president kibaki we are so thankful and then let me let me guys go and show you my my room where i used to sleep yeah i used to sleep when i was a child when i was growing up let's go well, this is the when you enter this is the main living room family room but it's, i'm not gonna show you please excuse it it's dirty <laughs> because we actually have it's a harvest season and people are coming and going this is that's the kitchen i'm not gonna show you so this kitchen in due time i want to upgrade like my mom's kitchen with kitchen cabinets because it's lacking i don't want to show you too much it's dirty it's a farm and it's morning sorry i didn't clean up for you guys but mom upgraded with her for banner she really wanted an electric oven a small fridge i want to upgrade my mom's fridge but we are thankful we still have a fridge i want to upgrade with cabinets but one thing about my mom when i tell her i want to do something for the house she's like hey so when i tell my mom i want to upgrade yeah, when I tell my mom I want to upgrade the house, like renovate it, like for for just easy living convenience, she's like, oh, like I'm gonna die, I'm dying. Also, why are you upgrading the house? I'm dying anyway. That thing pisses me off. I don't know, like I never used to care about like all being around old people. Like I don't like. Not only my mom, I like just, like I never mind, like, you see like when people say, oh, I don't want to be around old people, I don't want to hang out with old people. I don't mind hanging out with old people. But now, I've come to realize people don't maybe like hanging out with old people because all they talk about is death, death, pain. But, I know, it is what it is. I can actually understand because she, right now she's not... She's not feeling her best. Her health is not the best right now. So, yeah. But even before she was like sick, she used to be like, I'm dying. She'll manipulate me with, I'm dying. Come to come and stay with me. I'm dying. I'm dying. <laughs> she gets away. She knows she gets me like anything for my mom. Anyhow, the things I want to upgrade to my, for my mom's house. And you guys can help me by watching this video from beginning to the end. I want to upgrade my mom's house with a paper carpet. Now she has tiles. But these tiles, we weren't like when uh, they were installing it, my sister, my elder sister installed the tiles. They didn't tell like if there's warm tiles available or something like that. So these tiles are really bringing 
cold to to the house because we are already in the countryside and in my village Kisi it's a cold area it really gets cold so especially during the evening so this they are affecting my mom's uh, feet I don't even know what I'm saying but anyway yeah I'm really emotional and I'm so exhausted I'm so tired today is December I think this is December <gasps> This is December 21. Four days to Christmas. Yeah, so my, my mind is everywhere. Anyway, I want to... Uh, because it's costly to... to Whatever. So I want to have a paper... Wall-to-wall -wall paper carpet. Or a carpet that is not like thick. Because we don't want dust. We want it to be clean like every day or every other day. So we want something wall-to-wall... Uh, paper carpet from living room to her bedroom and maybe the corridor so that like she doesn't have to wear like to bring warmth to the house because now we don't we cook with the uh, I don't know like it's too much and anyway, that's the things we want to upgrade we also want to upgrade the kitchen like the outside kitchen to remove it from this side to be on this side we want to have a kitchen because we have two tanks we have the tank for 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 the bathroom and then we have the tank for everything for all the cooking and then we disinfect the rain water with the chlorine we still don't drink that water but it's perfectly healthy to drink the rain water after you've treated with chlorine but we love river water so we usually go to the river for drinking water basically so yeah okay now let me go to where i used to came winter used to like when i was sweet when i was a young teenager yeah because we moved when my mom retired they retired with me we moved back home and i yeah i lived in this room okay let me go and show you this is a four bedroom is it a bungalow or a mansion i don't know the words it's a four bedroom actually it can also be trans so no yeah it's a four bedroom right now so let's go let's go and see you i'm gonna try and ask my mom how much they okay let's go <laughs> let me clean up first so this is my bedroom when I use uh, we painted it pink so I I personally my with my YouTube money my first chunk of YouTube money I told my mom I'm gonna make your ceiling for you so I made like for the bedrooms I made the ceiling see <laughs> and painted it see and then we need to fix the wardrobe but yeah I used to this used to be my bedroom. Wait. So, yeah, this used to be my childhood bedroom. I used to have so many dreams here. I remember. I used to love being in the bedroom. I'm so thankful my mom could provide me a warm, loving house. And I want to give everything to my mom. So, we, we did the ceiling. And I wanted it to be pink. Okay, I told my mom to choose, but she chose pink, and I love pink. No, I don't love pink, but I'm kind of loving it now. Anyway, my, my bedroom, I'm so happy. Every room has tiles. Tiles are easy to clean. Yeah. If you like this kind of videos, let me know. If you like this kind of videos, let me know by subscribing, liking, commenting. Let me know where you come from, where you're watching from, what you would love to see on my videos. I have more African village life, countryside video. I live in Kenya and my village is Kis is Kisi, Wenyaikuma. So if you're ever around here, come and holler and say hi to my mom. Our gate is always open. Okay? Oh, just checking in on you, guys. I want to know, if you're watching this, where are you watching from? What nationality or ethnicity are you from? I'm making atom and dazis.
Someone. Most people will say, oh, they're just living in the village because this is a village, a countryside in Africa. Oh, there's no plumbing, there's no running water, there's no this, there's no that. But my family, my mom basically loves the countryside. She has no regrets at all. She has like land in Nairobi, but she chose not to build in in Nairobi or in other other places that she has learned to she decided to build in this specific space because it is as fertile soil um my mom is very happy she lives a very stress-free life even when my dad was alive she he lived a very stress-free life no no mortgage no uh, like freedom no utilities like it's a community and it's so perfect for the elderly and also me i'm actually thinking of of building my own off grid my own off grid in the countryside so the moral of the story is you do whatever you want to do with life worry about what other people are gonna say or what they do or what they will say or what they'll think about you society is gonna think of you uh, and if you are a person who wants to do this like get out of the city like i'm a city girl I may say, but I have come, the more I grow, I've come to see the the way to a simple life is also like remove some stress off you. And as long as like, I feel like, oh, when I have a, like, when I have and have the financial stability to do it, like to live in a countryside and make sure all the basic necessities that I, I love for the city like running water things like that i'll make sure that i have constant of it i make sure i'll have like solar panels i have a generator so that and I have wi-fi and things like that so that i can be stable and enjoy the countryside more i just love the way like i can always like i li i like living in the city because i just love the fast life but as you age as you grow older i I have the peace that I can always return back home to my countryside, a home where my mom has built to 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 live stress free, happy. <laughs> So we got sent package. We got sent package. All the way from Mombasa to Kisi and they used an coach. My brother has her only son. Mama not a second son. But in the content. My only brother. Mm -hmm. Yes, this is <laughs> I'll create your YouTube channel. Okay, that means sister in law and my brother my brother's wife, of course my sister in law and my brother. Simple living stainless steel insulated hot pot. Because we are having a huge hosting, a huge part. Yeah, it is. Because when we had guests and my in laws came, we didn't have serving pots. So this one is big. You like it? Yes. So, uh, this is another box. Okay. Two hot pots. Which is the biggest? I think the same. 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 I <laughs> <laughs> this is about the party of my my 
thought I was going to be married off. This is the tradition, our tradition, the bread, yes. which we put in the... Um, uh, look, look, look. See. Just we put ugali like this and we ugali. Yeah, here in Tanzania, millet. Ah, kwasa babu ni sakani. Ubiya gani? Ila niya, ila ni bora. Ah, kima watu kime zaidi sa. Ah, rubi. So you can send. Uh, he sends stuff with Enakos. Enakos sends stuff countrywide, all of Kenya, mm. and they are as fast and efficient. Aki mama. Sasa unafanya kazi nzuri. The person you have called did not answer. We have notified them that you... Hello. Hello. Eh, tu mapata. Eh, ni mekraya. Eh, tu mapata. Eh, eh, battery. Eh, na yoko hot pot mbili. Eh, zipombili. Sao. Ha. Eh, ni maona. Good morning. I'm going to burn these items, pieces of clothing, old clothing, and shoes, things that are not can't be given even to charity because they are old. Imagine people come, my family, my sisters come home and they dump their the clothes they came with. <laughs> they don't go back with them now this is like trash so we have to burn it they're giving us so much work like look at this bag this bag is torn torn used so we have to burn it they do this every time they come to vacation so if you are my sister and you're watching this please when you come to the village stop dumping the old stuff here so you have to burn Imagine they're giving us this all work. Eh? They dump their used stuff here instead of uh, of burning them. When they go back to Nairobi, they leave it to us to burn. Eh? If you are watching this, I know you watch this. Stop dumping your things at home. This is extra work, and we are taking care of mom. This is a lot of work. We shall go. They can't. And then they are like, when you ask them, why? You? And then they leave it dirty. Eh? Yeah. This is sibling. Do your sibling do this too, guys? Comment down below. I know they are watching this. They do this. When you call them, they say, ban, ban them. I don't want them. Instead of them burning them. This is extra work. Yeah. And it's not once. They do this every time. This is a lot of work. London, I'm trauma. And it's a lot of work, energy. I'm already tired of taking care of mom. Then I have to do this extra stuff because this cannot even go to charity. Look, this is very old, very used. Mm. No, this is work. If you are watching this, you know yourselves. What's so hard 
people should clean up after Hi, themselves. It's yeah, it's already old. It has been passed down, passed down. Mm. Mm. New year, new us. New year, new life. So, even this party, party for kids, the youngest kid is three years old. It's still here. Four. She's going to school. She's, all, she's already got any done with party training. It's still here. It is so hard. This, they come with expired things here eh expired you find them this one i found it under the uh, the chair huh? this one is still here it's starting to turn yellow killing the grass yellow Another pile. Well, this is ours now. We're just doing it. What did you say? You can't make a bite, but in You can't make a bite. 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 You you should always clean for yourself. I'm scared. I'm not going to do it. I'm 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 going Okay, bye. bye. Thank you for watching. Until next time, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm the road to 50,000 subscribers. So if you subscribe and if you see me with this Dara in another video, please. As long as I wash every day, so it doesn't matter, okay? And I wash, like when I come to the village, I usually wear my mom's dirhams and wear and wash. Yeah, that's what I wanted to say. Anyway, I love this room so much right now. It's everything. Yeah, okay.